in another life i was born for that beautiful coastal vibe you know like the lakeside and just good things like this ah the ethiopia flag is really doing its thing it's shining hi guys welcome back to my channel for this one new my name is queen desta and today is a beautiful day it's actually not very sunny so it makes it a perfect day to take a walk i am here at kerawi international hotel which is where i was staying for the night but we are moving we've checked out we go to get to another place because i will explain why i did come in this town beautiful town called hawasa let me show you my view from up here during the day and then we take a walk all the way to the reason why i came to hawasa keep watching if you've seen me for the first time hey my name is queen Desta and i am a kenyan uh who was once living in Ethiopia and even stayed in Hawassa for like I think three or four months and I'm excited to see this beautiful city and how it has changed and we're excited to be back you know to explore yeah wow what a journey anyway if you've been here for some minute thank you so much for being the real G thank you so much to all the people saying they had missed me in Ethiopia and I'm happy to be back yeah so let's go on this adventure Okay, I promised a few that's how everything is looking. People are busy out in the town. Green, beautiful Ethiopian flag. So let's go. It was nice here. I enjoyed my stay. So we've checked out and I forgot. I forgot to wipe my shoes. Then immediately I got that revelation. I was like, ah, this is Ethiopia. They do cleaning of shoes on the streets. So we're just going to get our shoes cleaned. Other thing we need, we need a bank so we can throw some money. We also need to just enjoy this walk. Look how beautiful this pathway is. Amazing, don't you think so? Addis, no, we are not in Addis, we are in Hawassa. Hawassa is beautiful. I love it. Educate me in the comment section. Is it Hawassa? Is it Awasa? And for once, can we settle down on this conversational? Is it the second largest city in Addis? Let me know. Whew, happy to be back. It's looking good. So let's take a walk as I explain to you why I am back in this beautiful city as well as discuss about my husband because many of you have been talking about him in the comment section so I guess in this video we are going to address those matters. Uh, so let's take a walk. Ethiopia. So there is this budget. Uh, it makes this town feel very blue. Because of the tuk tuk. It is beautiful. There goes an Ethiopian lady shining in her beautiful Ethiopian dress. Ain't that beautiful, guys? Yeah, so we are walking. I would have done my shoes there, but there is nobody. So let's keep going with our dirty shoes. So it's a normal day here, nothing major is happening, as you can see, people are just running their normal errands, yes. beautiful day. Ethiopia feels like home honestly it feels like now I've been away for a minute and then you have this that I know not I think it's a church you mean there's now such a big church here or is it a college because there are students there but it has a cross makes me think it's an orthodox church not orthodox protestant church interesting right yeah Okay, it is a church. It is a church. Anyway, it's big. Very big. Ha! Ah, this is beautiful town of Hawasa. And I'm so happy that you get to join me on this trip as you see the real life of Hawasa Street. On that side, we have clothes. And interestingly, I get to hear that some of these clothes are imported even from Kenya, which makes it interesting. 
but I've seen how that journey is normally not the swiftest. Yeah. So So I have like five reasons why I came to this city. First of all, it is on our way to Addis and therefore it makes sense for me to shorten my journey and experience a whole new, new city and just see how everything is looking and definitely be able to show with you to share with you how this city looks like in 2024, you know, just basically to explore a chance to explore another city. Clothes. I still can't find what is it called? I still can't find somewhere to do my nails. But I like Ethiopia with its creative mannequin. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. You know like there's gold, there's melanin, things like this. So, you get to chill as I do the walking, as you get to see this town. Jeez, where are people coming from? So there's a lot of people walking down, mostly men. here at Admiral Mall. Oh goodness. Where are people coming from? See this decoration. Nice. Maybe church. I think it's high time we stop. It's a church. See the church. Interesting. I like about Ethiopia there is always something interesting happening as you just saw there were people that just crossed here I have no idea I think it's church because they have people covered and stuff like this and they are singing slightly and if you don't know Ethiopians most Ethiopians are of the Orthodox religion and yeah but I love I love Ethiopia because they know how to celebrate things and New Year is coming New Year celebration is coming so perfect timing to be in Ethiopia. Let the journey continue. It's beginning to get hot. The sun is out. I have my jacket here, but if it gets very hot, I'm going to remove it. For now, we are good. The second reason why I'm in this beautiful city is because I love the weather. You know, like in Ethiopia, you're blessed with good weather. Basically, if you ask me, there's like good weather in all the places that I've been able to visit, the north, the south, just sunny some good amount of cold sometimes when it's rainy season as well just good enough but in hawasa i get to just enjoy the cool breeze it gives me this coastal vibe which i really love and yeah a moment of silence for the decorations of the new year that really looked so beautiful i loved this i was so fascinated oh this looks so good this is so beautiful and happy new year just in case you've not had happy new year from me happy 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 new year yes so i also wanted to see the vibe here during the happy new year and how everything is looking like but i'm still gonna share with you what you're looking to hear uh, i'll share with you okay no problem enough you i'll share And in case you're wondering, why did I choose to walk? Like, I might as well as just have taken, like, you see this blue bajaj? This blue tricycles that are really fancy. In Hawasa, there's even, like, these ones that have, like, a whole car sort of compartment. 
But I wanted to experience the feel of Hawasa, so I decided to take this walk. In total, it was actually like a 40 minute walk, but I'm only gonna be showing you the interesting part. And that brings me to the main reason why I came to this city because I wanted to create my own experiences that are not associated with anyone. More flowers. Seeing that for, for shop that is full of flowers has just reminded me of celebration mood. Yeah. If you're watching this, I'm assuming you already know that Ethiopia was not colonized. So, as you can see, their things are written in their language in uh, in Amharic. Yeah. Here goes some beautiful Ethiopian dresses. Well, not the best looking, but I, because I have seen several others. But, isn't this lovely? So, this is what I was talking about. Beautiful, beautiful Ethiopian mannequins. Look at that, in silver, in gold. As you please. So, I should continue straight. Or so does the map say. If you're traveling, Google Maps is your best friend. Yeah. Now the sun is out enough to feel like it's a what is it called? It's a there's a, it's a place with a lake. It's a coastal site. If you didn't know how Asa is the southern part, why does this road not look very serious anymore? Okay, let's check our Google map. If you're actually on the right track, this is Hawasa Stadium inside there. But let the walk continue. Yeah. Until we finally find someone that can clean shoes. But the thing I like about Ethiopia is coffee being sold everywhere. As I can see, this is a coffee place. And you just chill and ask for your coffee below a tree. You know, like natural things. Good natural things. Yeah. Hawasa. Hawasa city, Hawasa town. I could have taken a bajaj. A bajaj is that blue car. Tricycle, but I chose not to take it because I wanted to see and to connect with the town more and to take you. Well, this stretch of the road does not look as engaging. Uh, so, oh, but we have a school there. When I get to a more interesting part, I will definitely turn on the camera or let me know if you are enjoying seeing the raw part of Ethiopia through my vlogs as I walk around so you get to travel seated on your couch or on your TV yes so see you in a few mm. Awasa looks good on me anyway we've come to a major junction that's leading to different places but us we go this way yes easy life easy life in Hawasa, people just chilling, you know, walking slowly, no rush, easy life. Then you get a good view of that hill, or is it a mountain? It's 
it's interesting how now there's a rise of number of churches here in Hawassa. Huh. Beautiful view, right? Do you agree? It looks nice. Okay, some people are hustling. Others are working. Wood is being sold. You know, I know there's so many places that they help people to clean shoes. There's a small, small girl making coffee to sell. This is nice places to eat. If for nothing else, I love how I support Look at this road. Don't you think it's beautiful? Don't you think it's clean? See all the trees. And this is even just one side of Hawasa. There's other side that it's in the middle part of the road. It's palm trees. I have no idea what tree these are. But the green aspect of the city and just how clean it looks. Fantastic. So let's walk on the pathway. Yeah. How was the this side is more relaxed, it's more chilled. Yeah. And the breeze from the wind, I can't translate that in a video. But it's it's nice, I like the breeze. How was the We have a massage spa place there. We have a shop. So, many people transport here using this. They are coming from lunch, which is a very convenient form of transportation here that I like. These are individual people with, with their own, like, Scooters, more like scooters than motorbike. And that cool. Welcome to this other side of Hawasa. Beautiful. Here goes the palm trees that I was telling you about. This journey is supposed to take me to the lake. That's why we are going all this time. Yes. Yes. Beautiful town, very chilled as you can see. Yeah, and we take small parts. Look at this. Sometimes Google Map can take you places that you would never think you'd be passing. It looks like we are heading into someone's house. Can you see like this chicken on the wall? A dog here well houses but it's actually away it's actually a road as you can see it led us somewhere I guess there's a gate there that you exit but this for sure did look like people live here yeah nice in another life I was born for that beautiful coastal vibe, you know like the lakeside and just good things like this. Ah the Ethiopian flag is really doing its thing, it's shining. I am so happy to report that we finally made it to the lake. I just wanted to experience the water body. This is the main reason why I came into Hawasa so that I can just you know enjoy a water body because it's been a minute even in my own country it's been a minute since i was just in a water body environment and that brings me to answering the question that many of you guys have been asking me where is my husband oh i didn't realize that you guys really want to see him this bad but very soon he's joining us so stick around keep watching he's joining us and i'll sure sneak him in here and there so you can get to see him but the adventure is already here with us. So stick around, enjoy. 
and let's do some exciting things in our stay here in ethiopia guys i'm so happy thank you so much for watching hit the like button subscribe to this channel and always always remember to create time for that which ignites your soul until next one bye for now